Hi, my name is James Morgan, and I will be discussing the ethics of hunting. As you well know, the Native Americans hunted to survive. Their main food source came from the animals we continue to hunt today, such as deer, elk, pig, doves, quail, ducks, turkey, all the other animals that we still hunt for food today. To them, food is as sacred as life itself. Paleolithic cage pain discovered in Europe expre like, expressed early man's reverence and gratitude for the animals that sustain life. It is believed that this animal art symboli symbolized assurance uh, of the success of the hunt. The famous Lescaux Caves in southern France are a sanctuary of paintings that have endured more than 17,000 years. These ancient cave paintings depict the vital grace of deer, bulls, horses, and figures of our ancestral hunters rely on intelligence, tools of stone, wood, and bone to conquer the animals they, rever they revered. This ancient art tells the story of how co cooperating in the hunt helped shape our basic societies. Back then, hunters and the game they sought were inseparable. Humans exist, like, human existence and hunting were one. If the Native Americans were vegetarians, like so many people today, then a lot of us would not be here. They would not get the proper nutrients their body needs to survive, like protein and all the other nutrients we need. Uh, moms would not have proper nutrients during pregnancy, and their children would be born with, like, they would be born with various birth defects, or stillborn, or just horrible things like that. But did you know, according to the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, hunters are the number one contributor to the conservation of our wildlife. In 1937, hunters, requ hunters actually requested an 11% tax on guns, ammo, bows, arrows, but that tax has made over $8 billion towards our wildlife conservation. Altogether, hunters pay more than $1.6 billion a year. Nobody pays more towards wildlife conservation as hunters do. The wildlife today would be down to either nothing or it would be very overpopulated if it wasn't for hunters. Hunters are true conservationists of this planet. N nobody enjoys nature as much as they do. So of course they would be more than happy to pay a, just a little bit of extra money to do their part to save our nature and the beauty of it. The number one thing that experienced hunters think about all the time is safety. They are always aware of where they are. they're always aware of where the muzzle is pointed, if the safety is on, the finger on the trigger, but they never point at anything that they don't want to shoot. The mother, the barrel's always pointed in a safe direction. But a good hunter obeys the law and doesn't hunt where they're not supposed to. They don't shoot from the road. They get out of the truck and off to, off to the side of the road. And they don't shoot birds from power lines and other illegal actions that hunters could be doing. But many people can argue that hunters are never thinking about safety and only about the hunt getting a trophy. Okay. But for the people who haven't grown up with hunting or people who haven't been taught how and why at a young age, they just don't get it. I, I know this is starting to come off as a little subjective, but I hope you guys know what I'm talking about when I say hunting is all about safety and providing food for dinner, dinner table, memories with family, whether it be father, son, father, daughter, and just your loved ones. But Hunters, mo most of us hunt for the memories. Like, it's just being with family and friends. It's been a tradition passed down from generation to generation. But a parent always wants to see their child succeed, whether it be through school, work, or in a lot of cases, it's through hunting. And, but hunting tightens the bond with family members and loved ones who hunt together. Oh, was that it? Yeah. Dude.